hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel once more so today i want to resume back to uh, lumion class so for today's video i'm going to show you how to do lighting yeah lighting in lumion all right so first of all if you look at this model of this, this is a classroom i modeled and revit and brought to lumion so i've Put almost all the component but for today's video I want to focus on the lighting so actually there are lights in Lumium that will illuminate a space but for you to get emissiveness of a light you actually need to bring in a component of that light yeah so I'm going to show you an example of one I have brought I have imported from SketchUp model like in this classroom now, I want to use a square um, halogen light or what do you call it, depending on what you call it in your own profession, a square halogen light for this space. So if you look at the previous video, I showed you how to import models. So I'll go to my import, select from my library. I have so many things in my library. Select this particular component. All right, let me do this for this place. Okay. Place it here. As you can see, as immediately I select the components, the, this is the component I have. I've already put the materials. So I'm going to show you how to, let me use this opportunity to show you how to make your material emissive. Yeah, when it comes to light. For this material, I'll go back to let me take it to how it looks like. When I imported this component, this is how it comes with the material. So, but there's a way you can make it a lighting material. But to work with this, it's better to take your view to, let's say, a night view, your scene to a night scene. So it will make your lighting more appreciable. You can see the light that you are applying to the space. So for material, I'll go to this material, make it a standard material, then go to setting, look at emissive, so I'll increase it. Alright, so the amount of emissiveness you give it will determine the amount of how much it will emit light. But that does not necessarily mean it will light up the space. Lighting up of the space is where lumium comes in. And that is why I said you need to go to weather and change it to night. So we are in a, in a night mode now. But as you can see, the space is not lighted up, but it's just emissive. So the more you take it, make it darker. So the place is getting darker. All right. So for me to add light here, for us to add light here, go back to objects. Light, you can find light on that light and special object. So there are four different categories under lights and special objects. We have spotlight, omni light, and area light. So for these, I will use this area light. Yeah, before using area light here. Yeah. All right. As you can see, I've light up the space. All right. So here you can reduce the width. Let's say use 0 0.5 by 0.5. Now it's good to make your night activation on your night activation. Night activation. Yeah. What this works is that when you move your scene to a day view, your light will go off naturally. The natural light will take over. But when you come back to a night view, you the light the light will just come off by itself because it's, it's being activated to work at night. So as it's off now, whether day or night, it will keep lighting up the space. But I'll put it on. So when I go back to a day view, it will just go off by itself. All right. So light source, we don't need light source, we already have a, a bulb or a lamp that we're using there. So you can actually, actually, you can either increase the brightness or reduce it, fall out, as you can see, fall out, you can reduce it, depending on what you want, but you can change the color of the light, alright, let's just make that white, okay, once you are satisfied with whatever parameter you are using, now you can take it back to the day view. As you can see, I'm taking it back. 
light is no longer showing. All right. Great. So let's take it something like this. So this is how you light up a space in any any way, whether a wall lamp or a ceiling light, whatever one that you want to do. So remember, you put the components, change the material that you want to make emissive. So from there, you can now add the lights to it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please watch out for the next video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.